Okay guys, sorry, it's been a, about a week or so since my last post. Um, I've just been a little bit busy with a few things, but we've sorted that out and we will be back on track now. Check this out, Virgin Galactic stock price has actually done really well since the last time I made a video. We've managed to go up 7.5% in today's trading day alone. We're at $32.24. Check out the one month chart. So since our downfall from uh, the 8th of July, of about 42%, we've managed to hold at this $30 support level nicely for the past two and a half weeks. So the next few days are crucial. And the reason for that is because we have the earnings coming up, the Q2 2021 earnings. And that is on the 5th of August market close. And the reason why it's crucial is because as we know from Virgin Galactic's previous earnings, we know that around the earnings calls, the stock price is actually very volatile. So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, what should I do? Should I sell my stock and then maybe try and time it to buy it in later? Or should I buy more now, hoping that it'll go up? Should I, yeah, so so there's, a, there's so many different scenarios that can play out. And I'm gonna to demonstrate to you why I personally like to just buy the stock and hold it for the long term. And to do that, I need to show you the five year chart. Well, more like the max chart really, because um, we only started around uh, the end of 2019. And if you have a look at it just like this on its own, it doesn't really tell you that much. It looks quite scary actually, it looks very volatile. But I'm gonna show you why long-term vision always wins out and why it's so much more relaxing to invest as a long-term investor with a long-term vision. So I've actually taken a screenshot of that, of what we just saw here. And it, I'm gonna show you a trend line. Now, I'm gonna take it from when we first started all the way to what's happening now. So this is uh, mid 2021. So as you can see, without the trend line, it might look quite scary. But if I chuck the trend line in, you can see that actually the stock price has been going up, up and up since its inception. And the other thing I can infer from this is obviously past performance isn't always an accurate indicator of what's going to happen in the future. But if I just bring out that line just a bit further to let's say 2022 region. You can see that the stock's going to be around 45 to $50. Now, like I said, that doesn't necessarily mean it's definitely going to happen, but based on the previous trend, you can see that we're gonna have ups and downs, but we're also gonna see this kind of level in about a year's time. The reason why this chart is also very exciting is because as you can see, um, we are currently at $32 and that's actually below this trend line, which means that we have got potentially room to grow. Now, one of the things we need to be quite careful with is the earnings that's coming up. And I think Virgin Galactic needs to be quite careful in the way they uh, release different um, announcements. So obviously with Q2 earnings, we're gonna make a loss and that's gonna make the stock price go down. But the thing is Virgin Galactic are actually getting better at managing the stock price. And the reason why I say that is they actually haven't announced anything about the next test flight yet, the third test flight. So the reason why that's good is because it's keeping a lot of people who would have sold the stock in suspense because they don't know whether, when the announcement for the test flight is going to be. And that is likely to be a positive catalyst shooting the stock price upwards. Now, it's all a bit complicated, but personally, based on all the short-term fluctuations that you can see here, I like to just hold my stock for the long-term, knowing that despite the short-term fluctuations, the general trend is upwards. Now, there was one more thing that I wanted to mention. Obviously, you can see a massive pullback here. That might look a bit scary. That is the general market just pulling back tech stocks. So it wasn't just Virgin Galactic. Everything was... Um, pulled back during this time so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, yeah so that is the stock price and this is the reason why I personally believe in the long-term trend, the long-term vision of a company as long as they can execute uh, the, the objectives that they set out they will continue to go up in price and one of the things we know is that so much positivity has happened in Virgin Galactic over the past year or so. So just um, on the top of my mind, we managed to uh, achieve all the FAA approval requirements. We managed to send Richard Branson to space. And soon after the next two test flights, so the third and fourth test flight, 
um, we are likely to uh, be able to start commercial operations in early 2022. And I personally think that starting commercial operations and actually generating real revenue is going to cause some kind of an exponential rise in the stock price. And the reason for this is because there's going to be so much hype generated around the company and we're actually going to be making money for the first time. Uh, the reason why I use the word hype is because we still do have plenty of hurdles to overcome, one of which is the scaling of the production. So we need to make enough aircraft so that we can actually create enough revenue. And it might be a hurdle, but the way I see hurdles is they're just um, potential catalysts for the stock price. So good things happening uh, in the future for Virgin Galactic, which is why I personally am holding for the long term. Okay, so just a few things to finish off. So check this out. Virgin Galactic previously hadn't released any videos of their the um, passengers' facial expressions during the launch. And Richard Branson just released this video uh, of the most recent test flight uh, where they actually released the VSS Unity and when it started launching. So check this out. It's quite cool. So obviously um, going to suborbit is very exciting, but I think one of the actual exciting experiences that you wouldn't be able to get anywhere else apart from with Virgin Galactic or with a, a space flight is actually going from zero um, to, I think it was 3,500 either kilometers or miles an hour within eight seconds. Now that is an experience on its own and I think that's something that's very exciting and it's part of the whole Virgin Galactic experience going into space. Um, one of the ways to support Virgin Galactic, how do we do it? Um, let's go to Amaze and actually um, enter the draw to try and win a ticket to space. And if you check this out, if you go on the Amaze website, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. The actual um, draw closing date is on the September the 1st, 2021. And the announcement of the winner for this uh, Virgin Galactic ticket will be actually it's two tickets will be september the 29th 2021 and to enter you just go on their website like i said i'll leave it in the description below um, you can donate money in order to increase the amount of uh, entries you get or you can enter without contributing so i think this is the best way to actually support virgin galactic and increase the publicity around the actual um uh the, the flights for the company and finally, I'll be grateful if you can smash that like button, subscribe to this channel for future updates. Remember to comment down below what you are planning to do. What do you expect around the earnings? Are you planning to buy it and hold? Or are you planning to time it, sell it? What's your strategy? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.